In other headlines tonight, the family of the second student killed in the shooting at Saugus High School celebrated his all too brief life. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo is live in Valencia with more on how Dominic Blackwell was remembered 10 days after the deadly campus attack. Christy. Sarah, the private memorial service was held here at the Hyatt Regency, and at this hour, the flag on top of the hotel is flying at half staff. Our cameras were not allowed inside, but the service was streamed on Facebook Live. At the Hyatt Regency Sunday evening, the uniforms of mourning. In black and some in dress blues, group after group filed into the hotel. Proof in his short 14 years, Dominic Blackwell made an impact. Where do I even start with this kid? He was his grandmother's shadow. He was his Aunt Angie's little goober. He was his mom's peanut. His grandfather, who led the private service before a packed room, says it's no accident. Dominic was smiling in every photo. The teen was killed at Saugus High by a schoolmate who went on a rampage before shooting himself. In the last 10 days, loved ones have struggled to make sense of the loss and their pain. The sad part is, when I lost my husband, we thought of children, college, home, what we're going to do, but we never think of it one day. But on this day, the focus was on Dominic's legacy, his personality shining through in his pictures. He was a member of the junior ROTC, a good older brother, a loving son, and above all else, the kind of kid who cared about others. And at the memorial, those who loved him can still hear his laughter. He was a kid with an infectious laugh, a bright smile, and a kind heart. A second teenager who was also killed was also honored this weekend. The celebration of life ceremony for Gracie Muehlberger was held yesterday. Live in Valencia, Christy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News.